Good morning, traders. Paul here with Gamma Edge. Today is Friday, the 24th of February. Let's get started. Pause your players here. Read to the very bottom. If you agree, hit that play button. Summary for today, we've got somewhat of a mixed picture occurring, uh, clearly down. Uh, but that being said, uh, we are seeing some indications of the bulls starting to rear their heads and do some things that are going to be constructive. Uh, short term, we are in another continuation day. The cumulative tick is lower uh, and we're in a railroad track down pattern. Uh, we're in day four of this and 68% of the time we terminate in day four or in day five as it starts. So just be mindful of an increased potential for an upside bounce. Uh, long term, the ribbon has inverted to the bearish side. It did so two days ago. Uh, this is not necessarily an actionable today is a trigger day type of thing. But what it does show you is that sentiment is failing to uh, the bears or excuse me, to the bulls and is favoring the bears. And so just be aware that we are more inclined to short the bounces as opposed to going massively long here. Market breadth, as viewed by our 52-week new high, new low indicators, is showing three consecutive days now of uh, new lows outpacing the new highs. It's important to note we've only got four of these in the year of 2023, so that is a big deal, right? But sentiment is confirming. It is a lagging indicator, but it never, uh, nevertheless, it is uh, certainly indicating more bearishness overall in the market, more caution, more risk off. Our right goalpost, which is uh, the uh, dominant gamma exposure, remains at 4,200. Uh, the left goalpost, uh, minus GEX, dropped to 3,900. Um, when we take a look, and that's in the combo complex, when we take a look at the PM complex, which uh, actually trades uh, pretty actively, we see 39.50 and 40.30 are the, uh, the short-term goalposts. And so this is probably your range. Uh, for today within the structure if we break below or go above uh, sentiment is definitely changing uh, depending on which way we go there so pay attention to these two inside goal posts uh, transitions have moved down uh, this in general is not what we want to see for an expansive market uh, we typically like to see transitions move up as the goalposts move up and when we don't see that type of thing this gives us uh, more uh, ammunition to play the downside and to short the bounces that we may see. All of that said, we are seeing a more uh, a greater presence, I guess, of short dated calls going into the structure. And this is to some degree repairing recent damage. Uh, certainly we could fail from here, especially with the futures being down uh, early here in the morning session, but we are making the correct steps uh, for another bullish run. Uh, so just be aware of that for the zero DT crowd and we've got a lot of them in the discord uh, the charm flows uh, for the the SPX complex indicate a weaker early morning session uh, we think the 3950 is probably a key level to the downside and 4000 uh, we're capturing a lot of pressure to the downside that 4000 strike has a lot of puts at it they're expiring today uh, their, their deltas are going to continue to push negative, and that's going to force the dealers positive, uh, which the, the resulting outcome is for the dealers to sell futures and, and the underlying uh, correlated assets. So just be aware that 4,000 really may become a, a tipping point for today, and the only way we're going to get out of this hole is if the OTM call speculators step up and start buying the dip and, and moving us north. Uh, short of that, uh, anything goes and uh, the pressure obviously is to the downside. Uh, taking a look at the market model, uh, this is the, the composite view. You've got the ribbon. You can see it's now trending down. This is a longer term view um, and, and is showing that sentiment certainly is failing. Uh, we've been here horizontally and then uh, just two days ago we, we lost the, the crossover here and certainly this is indicative of us uh, selling the rips and um, uh, being, you know, more positioned for negative deltas in our portfolios than uh, than long deltas. That said, we did have this pattern yesterday, even though we are railroad track down and even though we closed slightly below 
Uh, this is fairly strong when it occurs intraday, and so I want everyone just to be aware of this, this uh, uh, signature that we see here. This could turn off uh, the decrease that you see here, and as a result of that, I uh, would urge everyone not to get out over your skis. The better time to take a short signal is back when you see a, a pattern like this. We called this out several days ago, and now we could be in day four, as I said, where we see some reversal of these short-term patterns. Um, just highlighting this uh, again, uh, as I was just discussing, you know, we have this short term reversal, uh, some back testing results, and looking at the railroad track down. Same thing here. Uh, we're looking for the potential of reversal now in, in day five of, of this pattern. Uh, pretty good back testing results, and think that if you've been playing the downside here, you've been rewarded pretty well uh, on this signal. Uh, taking a look at the longer term, as I said, we had that crossover uh, a couple days ago. We are extended below it. We do typically see a mean reversion or coming back up into this, and then you know potentially we could fail or we could continue north again. Who knows? This is not a predictive tool. This is driving with our rear view mirror. But that said, um, we, we've got some ground to make up, and so we're not anticipating a huge bull run right now, especially with this structure that we have. So taking a look at the uh, the overall key levels here on the left is the SPX PM structure over here on the right is the combo structure, which is the AM and the PM. We do have some changes. Um, COI did move up uh, generally bullish. We're seeing stronger deltas across the board relative to yesterday. We feel that's uh, also bullish. Uh, the expected move is not overly changed from where we've been really for uh, throughout the week. Uh, so just be aware of that. And uh, I think in general, um, you know, we're, we're looking at a slightly, slightly more bearish or bullish structure here. Um, we'll see what happens today. I know we're starting weak, but uh, we'll see what, uh, what the bulls do versus what the bears do. Taking a look at the PM structure here, transition has moved down. You're going to see that on all these charts. Uh, we think it's going to be difficult to get above the 40, 45, 40, 50 zone. Uh, the JPM is showing itself here. Uh, we'll note a significant improvement in the overall short dated gamma within the overall PM structure. That is a bullish type of, of movement, and so just want everyone to be aware of that. Uh, to the downside, uh, 39.50. To the upside, that 40.30, as I discussed. The zero DT charm estimates, um, just note and open below this 4,000 level uh, will we'll capture a large amount of expiring puts and that'll force negative deltas into the overall structure. That's important for us in, in general. So that 4,000 strike is going to be pretty important here. 39.50, there isn't a lot showing in the charm plots uh, for this right now. And uh, if we do open in down in that area, we may see uh, another wall there. Check this after the, uh, the open at about 9.46 or later uh, Eastern time. Taking a look at the zero DTE, um, we are seeing some, some repair. Uh, we're starting to see some of the out of the money puts get vaporized uh, and, and be present here for today. That could be constructive. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, we are seeing some in the money calls go away though too. So just want, want everyone to be aware of that. As we march through the day, the gamma lines will get longer. The charm uh, will, will play a role and want everyone just to understand the interaction on a zero DTE. Upside contributions from all of this suggest not much higher than this 40, 40, 40, 30, maybe even a, a 40, 60. Don't think we're going much higher than that. The structure doesn't really support us moving aggressively up there. Uh, to the downside, here's that 39.50 again. Taking a look at the 1 DTE, uh, 40, 65, 40, 70 upside, we are seeing some improvement. Now, this is a look into Monday structure. So we, we present this to everyone because as we approach the end of day today, these are potential outcomes of, of where we could park for low exposure over the weekend. Low exposure range is uh, 39.90 to 40.25. Not seeing much up in this area, although you can see the deltas are starting to flip. That's uh, usually constructive. Um, to the downside, here's that 39.50 again. Not seeing a lot of parking areas down there, so would not necessarily think uh, we're going to end uh, down on the low of the days uh, for Friday. Taking a look at the combo here, again, seeing uh, strengthening here relative to yesterday. This is a good step, and this is a fairly strong change here that we're seeing on the bullish side. 
Uh, we are seeing strengthening down below us, below that 39.50. We think that's very important. When we see the in the money call start to dominate, that means the out of the money puts are coming off the structure. People are thrown in the towel for this, sh this short term drop and are uh, you know, obviously positioning uh, potentially to the upside. Now we are seeing the floor move up also. So this is all in the money puts that are up here above the yellow line. And we're starting to see a development now in the long out of the money calls above this. Again, this is uh, important. The, the only challenge that we have to this is that transition has fallen. And when transition falls, that's generally not uh, indicative or, or supportive to a expansive market. And so we are a little concerned that uh, we, we may get a failure on this, uh, this particular bounce. And if we do, uh, just because of what the cumulative tick is telling us and, and what uh, market breadth is telling us, uh, we'll probably sell any rips uh, if we do fail to progress above that 4025 zone. Taking a look at the combo structure, this presents a very clean, very clear structure. 4,200 to the upside, 3,900 to the downside. You can see the line in the sand. We absolutely have got to retake 4,005 in order to have any chance of moving up. If we can't get above 4,005, it's very clear, very definitive uh, uh, transition range here. We've been talking about this 40-30 for some time. It has now become an upside target as opposed to uh, being a downside level. And that's important. Uh, so this 4,005 to, to 4030 zone, we, if we can retake that 4030, then we stand a chance and possibly neutralize the, the JPM uh, end of month March uh, short calls that are up here at 4065. Short of that, I think we continue to the downside. So we'll just have to wait and see if the, uh, the bulls step up and if they continue to build a path north here. So we've got to get this 4,005 today. If not, uh, we're still going to empower the, the, uh, the bears to the downside, and we'll have to play that accordingly. So that's it for today. I uh, hope you found this uh, useful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or, or want to see it live, uh, we have a great group of, of traders and, and educators uh, at Gamma Edge. Uh, click on this link or type this in your browser, upper right-hand corner, pricing tab, fill out the blanks. Come on in, 14-day free trial, all the tools turned on, uh, no risk to you. And uh, like I said, it's a, it's a great environment to, uh, to learn, to educate yourself on all things uh, with options and Greeks and et cetera, et cetera. Follow us on Twitter, Gamma Edges with an S, and then here on YouTube, of course, uh, smash that like button. If you like today's content, it gives me immediate feedback that I'm providing something that's actionable for you. And then, of course, uh, subscribe so you get notified next time Michael, Taylor, or myself post a video. So with that, bid you farewell. Uh, hope to see you in the Discord. Make it a great weekend, everyone. Take care.